In this video, we'll have a look at some of the best of WooCommerce product add-ons plugins, which will allow you to create various different upsell options, add additional fields. You can change the price and structures so you can charge based on the volume, the width, the length, and so on. And we can allow our customers to further customize their purchase, which isn't possible with the default WooCommerce setup. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So the first on our list is our very own AOVOP product add-ons plugin. So just head over to AOVOP.com to go ahead and download this particular plugin i'll leave a link in the description below right and with this plugin here we can add various different types of fields to allow our customers to further customize their product so whether that's a file upload field we can add a conditional logic right and what's unique about this particular plugin as well is we can actually embed our product options along with the pricing um, onto its own a separate page so we can create a more unique landing page and we'll get more into that in a second so instead of me telling you about it let's have a look at what it can actually do we'll have a look at the front end first and i'll show you how we can structure it on the back end right so for example here we've got this wedding planning option here where our customers can choose a location and we can change the price based on their selection as well we can also hide or show certain fields based on our customers selection right so we can choose the venue we can hit next and here if we say we want photography then this field appears here so again this field's conditionally displaying based on a user selection we can choose our preferred date and then we can just add it to our basket we let's have another look at a different example All right so again we can scroll through we can choose our options so here these are additional products that we actually offer in as a option right choose our case choose if we want the case or not right and then we can just add it to our basket when we're ready so let's have a look at the back end and i'll show you how we've actually structured that so let's go on a wedding planning option right so the first thing you want to do is create your name then we get to choose which product we want this to apply to so here we've got numerous different options if we choose embedded option here i'll show you how we can actually embed this onto a product Okay, we can choose which user group we want to display it to. Now when we click add options, we've got numerous different field types, right? So we can add complex different pricing formulas. We can add a color picker. We can add a label, swatch or image and so on. So let's just quickly add a file upload field. So we'll just say upload design. We can add a label here, All right? We can choose to change the price. Again, this is optional. And then once we're happy with everything, we can hit save changes. We can even further customize the display as well. All right, so once we're happy with everything, we just need to save changes. And now we'll head back over to our main settings area, right? And here we can copy the short code, right? So let's copy to our clipboard. And then essentially we can create a new page, right? Or even a post. And then we can embed those options directly into the post. So this is super powerful, right? So essentially we can just go ahead and paste in our short code here so we can customize this sales page and then we just add our options. And then on the front end, it will look something like this, right? So our customers, once they're happy with everything, they can just hit add to cart and then just go ahead and check out. So that's quite unique with this particular plugin, right? The option to actually embed it onto a sales page. Okay, so the next on our list is this extra product options for WooCommerce by Theme High. I'll leave a link in the description below to this particular plugin. There's a free and a pro version. Obviously with the free version, you'll have limited functionality and you'll need to upgrade to the pro version to get access to all the pro features, right? So this is how you'll add your different fields, right? So you can choose from the type here. There is a bit of a learning curve to it, but once you've figured out where everything is and what everything does, then you should be okay. Right? And this is how it looks on the front end. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the demo. Okay, so here we've got a color picker field. We can choose our size and option. We can choose a number of button and we can choose a label as well. All right, so the next on our list is the product add-ons plugin, Ultimate by Plugin Republic. With this plugin, you can add various different um, file uploads, checkboxes, um, conditional logic, and so much more. And like all the other plugins that we'll mention, it is compatible with all the major themes and page builders as well. So you don't need to worry about that. So I actually like this particular plugin. It offers various advanced features. However, one thing to keep in mind is that some of the features is sold separately as a product add-on, right? But as a complete package, I personally like this particular plugin, All right? So for example, here, if you want the image preview, this is a separate add-on. You do need to get the base product add-ons plugin. 
for this to work. And we've got this calculation option, which is sold as a separate add-on, right? It takes preview. Again, that's a separate add-on, right? Whereas in the AOV output plugin, there isn't any extra add-ons to get everything just included in the core plugin. But I like the fact that they separate it here because um, you might not need um, all those features, right? But one thing to consider is that if you do need those features, when you add it up, it can be quite expensive. But this is still a great option to have a look at, right? So the final one on our list is this custom product add-ons by Aco Webs if I'm pronouncing it properly. They've got a free version and a pro version. The free version is extremely limited, but if you want to just add basic um, fields, such as maybe a drop dropdown, um, some text input, and you don't need any extra pricing, right? Then you can go ahead and check out the free version. Otherwise, you can head and check out the pro version, which is quite extensive. Let's have a quick look at the front end. All right, so here's a demo showing us all the different fields. This has got a map, which is quite unique. A lot of the plugins that I've um, reviewed, I haven't noticed this map feature, right? So that's quite unique to this plugin, I think. Let me know in the comments box below which plugin you use and how you actually intend to use them.